exclusive forecast is provided by WLKY Weather. Whenever you need the forecast, just ask, what's Jay say? Hi, everybody. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi here at WLKY. Hey, we've got a couple of nice events going on in Kentuckiana this weekend, most notably Saturday, and both of them happening in Madison. So check them out if you can do so. We have the 2018 River Roots Music and Art Festival going on. This happens from 11 o'clock in the morning to 11 o'clock at night at Bicentennial Park. Again, in Madison. Great event there. Check it out if you can do so. Also, if you'd like to listen to more music, we got you covered there. We have music at the mansion going on in Madison. This goes from 7 o'clock in the evening uh, to 9 o'clock, uh, also taking place in the Madison area. The forecast looks okay right now. It's going to be warm, a little bit humid. If you're venturing out, just grab the umbrella just in case. A 30% chance for a storm, otherwise quite warm, near 90 in the afternoon. Hey, Jay, tell us what do you say? Hey, Jay, what do we say? We can count on you. After two decades, we can say a lot about Jay Cardosi. We can say he has your most accurate forecast and is the Ohio Valley weather expert. But it's not about what we say. What matters is what's Jay say. What's Jay say about your weekend plans, your Little League game? His answer is still the one more people trust. Want to know the forecast? Just ask. What's Jay say? say? Hello, we're glad you made it back. We are here with Greg Goodnight and Jane Vonderheide. Jane is with River Roots and the Art Alliance, and Greg is with the Art Alliance. So, Greg, there are some things going on with the Art Alliance. What are those that you're going to be doing this weekend? Sure, we're, we're having a booth at the, at the River Roots Festival for the Arts Alliance, which is made up of 400 creative minds here in the Jefferson uh, County area. Uh, we will be having an, a raffle for Yeti Cooler, which we're excited about. Uh, second time we've actually done that, and it, it seems to bring the crowd. Uh, we also have some local artists with uh, some original paintings for sale and some apparel as well. So. Oh, that'll be great. Yeah. Now, is it too late for artists to submit artwork for this booth? It actually is. is? They're all, the deadline was actually today. So. Oh, goodness. Yeah, yeah. So well, that's all right. There's always next time. <laughs> there's always next time. That's or right. another event. Absolutely. Of some yeah, kind. absolutely. Now, Jane, with the River Roots, what are some of the things that, that you see with River Roots? Is it growing? Is it? Well, we changed the date this year. Yes. And we moved it three weeks um, back into the summertime. And so far, the forecast is looking really excellent for the weekend. It's going to be warm, but um, no rain really in the forecast, hopefully. Right. Um, and yes, it's grown a little bit every year since we've had it. I think this is our 13th year. It's been going for a long time. Yes. It's so. my favorite. It, it, it's my personal I think favorite. it's a lot of people's favorites because it seems that people go downtown just to even sit on the sidewalks at yeah. a friend's house and listen. Yeah, and listen. Yeah. We're excited. Now, there's some projects that the Art Alliance has going on that is new. They're not just going to be focusing on downtown, the waterfront, or things like that. What are a couple of those things? Sure, yeah, we're, we're excited. Last year we actually rolled out our first public arts project, which was our artsy switch box. Yes. So downtown Madison is now decorated with some beautiful switch boxes that uh, we're very proud of. Uh, we're actually excited this year we're bringing that to the hilltop. So uh, bring that beautiful artwork up on the, the hilltop and kind of show off the talent here in Jefferson County. Thirteen. 13 new switch boxes. Oh, wow. Now, with those 13 new switch boxes, you're going to have to have sponsors for those switch boxes. We will, yeah. We, we would love to hear from you. The sponsorships are open. Uh, we're currently contacting businesses and reaching out, but uh, we'd love to hear from you uh, and give you that opportunity to get, get your face connected with uh, the creative community. And, and make it something to look at as you're driving, not just trees or like mm. poles or <laughs> yeah tur turning those those ugly metal boxes into something pretty right essentially yeah right a piece of artwork that actually looks nice in the area in front of your business or absolutely so. absolutely yeah the, the arts alliance really the mission behind the arts alliance is is a very broad one uh it's one that's kind of supports all creative minds and all genres of art 
uh, from the culinary arts to the fine arts to the sculptors to the musicians and, and all the above in between. So uh, we're excited because we're actually going, uh, we're, we're starting to make some progress and really have an impact on what people see when they come to this community and, and what they want to come back and see almost more importantly. Um, so really bringing that to the surface and making sure they shine. It's, it's kind of like our little niche. Absolutely. The things sure that is. we have here are creative minds that other communities don't always have what Absolutely. we have. Absolutely. I think there's a lot more, even folks that live here in the community aren't really quite aware of what's what's really here. So right. that's a big part of our mission is to connect them to the creative community and vice versa. One so. thing that the Arts Alliance um, accomplished in two or three years ago was um, getting Madison designated as a cultural community in Indiana. I think we were the fifth or sixth city in the state to receive that yeah. designation so the downtown area is actually the cultural district um, but we feel like these new 13 switch boxes on the hill are going to kind of serve as a gateway to our cultural district downtown it'll connect the two yes mm -hmm. you know people will see those and and ask questions and then they'll be directed to the downtown area to see more yes. and vice versa yes you'll see them downtown and then they can go up on the hill and see more yep and so there, there'll also be some heading out towards Hanover and I believe maybe one or two in Hanover as well now Greg and Jane there are some things about the projects that are going to be going on you got some future projects coming up that people can get involved in and there's some ways that people can help you understand what they need. So tell me some of those things. Sure. So uh, we're really excited about one of our future projects coming up in conjunction with this city. Uh, we're working on some light pole banners that will be um, beautiful, just as the, the switch boxes are. Um, but it, it's the call to art has gone out for that. So artists are submitting pieces currently. Um, and we are excited to see what those are going to turn out. Um, they are probably going to come towards the end of summer um, as we work through the process but um, rest assured that as, as nice as the switch boxes are the banners will be just as beautiful oh yeah so excited about that and everybody puts a lot of effort into what their artwork is most people that's an extension of them if they're an artist absolutely, so, absolutely. that is cool and then Jane you were talking about some of the uh, future projects that are coming up some of the things you're looking at for next year yeah we have um, a, a group that's putting together some workshops for um, artists like artist to artist workshop like helping artists um, learn something such as maybe becoming a festival artist how do you do that right. um, and also some classes that would be an artist teaching community folks various projects so that's in the works sharing their talents with people in the community that yeah. might might want to try to do that so. and we're we've been like looking for suggestions what are, what are things that people would like to learn about um, we'd love to hear from people about that and then you were saying that artists that have ideas of how you all can better serve them because the Art Alliance purpose is what yeah, our mission is to support the creative community and so that takes on a lot of different you know uh, looks different I suppose depending on what you are what you're looking to accomplish whether it be as Jane mentioned a festival artist that that is wanting to make a living doing that or one that just wants to occasionally do it um, you know obviously the, the tools and skills they need are different and so uh, we like to pull those you know little gems that we have here in the community to kind of help advise those that are kind of aspiring to be that and so yeah. you know those young aspiring artists are really what we want to cultivate and help to grow and, and as well as the artists that that might not see themselves as an artist you know really try to encourage their growth and in, in mm -hmm. that area so um, you know, we, we kind of see that from time to time, and so we're always looking for the artists to reach out to us to help us to better serve them, because that is ultimately our purpose, and, and as a result, and kind of as, as that grows, we see that the community kind of benefits, and, and really, you kind of see the, uh, the beauty that we have here in the community. So. And then they also have all that knowledge to draw from when they come to see you. That you have resources you can give them and you know do. it's it's a great hub a little base type thing mm -hmm. there so absolutely our doors are always open and like i said the more that we know that we need to provide the more we can provide and you know our executive director kim nyberg uh, is a fantastic resource she is available 
24-7. Uh, she is fantastic and obviously a great resource to us all. Right. Um, and she's there to support and help the uh, board to help support. So uh, it really is a great organization. It's one of those that I think people have somewhat of a hard time understanding the mission because it is so broad. Um, but really bringing that creative diversity and all that culture to the surface here in Madison, Indiana and Jefferson County um, is, is really our main mission. Right. And one of the missions of it is not just Jefferson County. You all service more than just Jefferson County, don't you? That's correct. There's really no borders um, per se. Uh, we're not going to turn anyone away. Um, we are the Madison Area Arts Alliance, so um, there's really no definitive um, you know borders to that so right. our doors are open to anyone who w wants to reach out to us that's great because that, there's a lot of artists that live in rural areas that can't get absolutely. to a place you know so absolutely it makes it a little difficult we're here for them that's well they're going to find out so. <laughs> <laughs> now there's some places that they can go to find out information and one is a website our website as well as facebook they yes. can find us in both places um, our office is be below the jefferson county historical society and so they can stop in and see us at any time at that location as well visit us at the booth at river roots come yes. see us Sign up for the raffle, buy, buy some uh, tie-dyed shirts. Yeah, and all that money goes where? Where's all that money go? It all goes back to the Madison Area Arts Alliance to, to help us serve our mission. That's great. Now, is there anything we haven't told everybody? Is there something we've left out maybe? Probably a lot. <laughs> I think we covered a lot I think of ground. We did. We covered a lot. I'm sure people are going to have questions. So we'll make sure they have the phone number ready to go and they'll have a place to call. And then we'll give them the website. And uh, I'm sure Kim will be getting some phone calls. Yeah, we, we look forward to it. Well, thanks so much for being with us today. We thank appreciate you, it. Thank you, Debbie. You're welcome. And as for you all, thank you for watching.